this is my mystery clock project. It's an exposed wood gear clock. Uh, the clock was made using a carve right CNC machine uh, to cut the gears and the other parts. Unlike most pendulum clocks, uh, where the pendulum regulates the time, this clock is actually powered by the pendulum, uh, which drives the mechanism. Uh, you can see all of the uh, moving parts of the clock are exposed and out in the open. And so what you see is the pendulum uh, moving a pawl at the top of a ratchet wheel and once a second. And that pulls the ratchet wheel a 60th of a revolution. And uh, there's a catch arm on the bottom to keep it from going backwards. That's what powers the clock. What keeps the pendulum moving? Well, that's the mystery. There's a magnet in the bottom of the pendulum and a coil in the base of the clock. The coil is powered by some electronics we'll get to in a minute. And that's what keeps the clock moving. Uh, the base also includes space for four D cells, which should power the clock for more than a year. For this project, I'm using a TI a microprocessor, microcontroller, and the launch pad development system. So what you see uh, over to the left is the launch pad. It's largely covered up by a board where I've got some wires uh, bringing pins from the microcontroller on the launch pad over to my breadboard. And on the breadboard, really a pretty simple circuit. There's a voltage divider uh, used as a reference for the signal coming off the coil. Uh, kind of in the middle of the breadboard is a very simple filter to filter the signal off the coil and then feed that into the microcontroller. And then there's also a driver transistor uh, that's used to drive the coil. For show, I've added an LED that is flashing every time the coil is activated by the microcontroller. Again, the unique feature of this particular control system is that it is regulating the pendulum. By comparing uh, how fast the pendulum is moving with the crystal reference of the microcontroller, and then adjusting the pulse width that's fed to the pendulum, we can actually speed up or slow down the pendulum and keep accurate time. In developing the control software for this project, I'm using uh, data logging. So in addition to controlling the pulse that's going to the coil, I've got a pulse width modulated output and a very simple filter that feeds into a National Instruments data logger. And that allows me to basically capture and graph the width of the pulse that the microcontroller is sending to the coil while it's operating. And I can monitor this and make adjustments to the control algorithm. Also, over to the side of my breadboard, I've got a two-channel oscilloscope. And that comes in handy for development work of this type as well. So here's a sample of a uh, data log. I've artificially set the nominal pulse width to the uh, clock uh, to be very high, uh, 25 milliseconds. More typically, it'll run at about 18 milliseconds. But this is to kind of uh, give a step response that I can uh, study and adjust the algorithm. So what you see is the clock starting up and running very fast, running too fast, and then the control algorithm gradually slows down the pulse width to the clock. And you can see that on the graph. And overshoots just a little bit, and then comes back up to the nominal pulse width that's needed to keep the clock accurate. And again, this uh, data logging is very useful for uh, developing and tuning the control algorithm for the clock. So at this point, the development work for this project is nearly complete. The construction work on the clock, design and construction, is done. And I've actually built uh, three of these clocks now. And I'm just finishing up the design of the control electronics. I had been using a um, control uh, electronics for the clock, very simple electronics with uh, no control. And it literally, it would take weeks to uh, adjust the pendulum up and down 
uh, weight on the pendulum in order to get the clock to run close to accurately and even at that it would still drift. Um, with this control circuit um, it's quite different. You really don't have to set the pendulum at all. Uh, you just start the clock up and let it run and the control circuit takes over and will uh, keep near perfect time. Um, I've had this uh, breadboard running for almost three days now and um, with no perceptible uh, error in uh, the clock reading. And I believe it's actually accurate uh, to within a second a day, as accurate as the watch crystal time base of the microcontroller can be. So I believe this mystery clock to be a really unique project and a different take on a wood gear clock. Uh, one that runs very accurately with um, really no intervention by the uh, user at all. Uh, no need to tune it, just start it up and, and let it run. Change the batteries every year.